Hey everybody, John Troutman from Cork.com. I'm sitting here with a really interesting guy and somebody who's been turning up a little bit of, uh, of controversy lately. Uh, I'm going to give him a chance to turn it over to him to introduce himself and, uh, and tell us a little bit about him. Well, I'm Stu Smith. I founded Smith Madrone Winery in 1971. I've been farming wine grapes uh, on top of Spring Mountain since that period of time and making wine with my brother. We uh, cleared a forest that had been a vineyard in the 1880s and built a winery so we'd make the grapes, you know, we'd grow the grapes, make the wine, and occasionally come to the Big Apple and try to sell it. That's what got me here. Beautiful, beautiful. So, you've been out in Napa Valley now over 30 years. Close to 40. Closer to 40. Yeah. Um, it's a serious history behind you in wine making. Well, well let, me, let me jump in there too. I was a uh, grad student at UC Davis. I was the department's first teaching assistant, and then when I got out of Davis, when I was starting a winery, um, I taught winemaking for 12 years, both at Napa uh, uh, Community College and Santa Rosa Junior College. And um, so I think I bring a pretty technical background to the industry, which is where we're going on this next round. Absolutely. Yeah, but kind of what I hinted at earlier, the controversy, it doesn't lie in, uh, in your background in winemaking so much as it does the, some things that you've said recently. And I figure what I'll do is just read an excerpt from a letter that you wrote to the, uh, the Santa Rosa Democrat to give everybody an idea of, of kind of where we're going with this. Right. Um, in a letter that you wrote to the Democrat, you said, people today make all sorts of assertions with little or no connection to the truth, and biodynamics is no different. Uh, show me the scientific experiments that proved biodynamic soils and vines are healthier and biodynamic wines are better. If these folks can prove their assertions, then I'm sure many of us would consider converting to biodynamics. Unfortunately, the supporters of biodynamics cannot provide scientific studies proving the efficacy of biodynamics because none exists. That's perfectly right. That being said, um, elaborate a little bit. Where, sure. where did this come from? Well, um, uh, for some years I've been thinking that Americans are going back moving forward into the 21st century by going back into the dark ages when it comes to science. Um, a good uh, illustration is the whole thing with autism and vaccines. Clearly science says that, that um, autism is not a result of vaccination of little kids. And that's just one example. And I've been kind of noodling this thing over for a long period of time and knew a little bit about biodynamics, didn't know much about it, didn't care much about it. Uh, and then what happened was biodynamics, I started reading, were making some rather, you know, hefty claims. And claims like um, only biodynamic soils are alive. Um, only biodynamically grown grapes have a true expression of the terroir. Um, only biodynamic grapes are um, healthy enough they can ward off um, disease. And, and ergo, all of you other people who aren't biodynamic, your soils are dead, your vines are toast, and your wine sucks. And from my point of view, them's five minutes. So um, I started writing these letters, and it created a little bit of controversy. And I finally got my act together and started my little blog, which is biodynamicsisahoax.com. And the more I got into it, and the more I read about, read about Rudolf Steiner in his original lectures about how biodynamics was farmed, I came up with the opinion that this, this is ridiculous. Anybody who is a biodynamic farmer just simply hasn't read Steiner, or they couldn't believe this. Um, the, the outlandish things that this man says are just, they couldn't be taught in today's school. You, the school board would shut you down. If the school board tried to teach it, the people would shut them down. And if it's not good enough for schools, it clearly isn't good enough to be grown wine grapes with. So, Stu, as you mentioned, you, uh, you started this blog, which we'll link up uh, down below um, so people can check out the site a little bit. Uh, it's a pretty young site, isn't it? When, when did you start the blog? June 1st. June 1st. And since starting it, you've, you've, you've made a little bit of noise. Um, you've seen some, some reactions. Oh, yeah. Talk a little bit about some of the reactions that you've seen to what you've, uh, what you've been writing. Um, fundamentally, I think it's been all positive. Uh, a lot of support. There's been a little bit of kind of um, stuff, but 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 I think it's been it's been positive all the way around. People have well, interesting. When I wrote that letter uh, to the press Democrat, a lot of people came up to me and said, "Right on, go for it. I'm all for you." And I go, "Well, why aren't you 
you why don't you step it up? Why aren't you saying it? I can't I can't say it publicly, they know. I I I have um, I make wine for a biodynamic grower. I grow grapes for a biodynamic guy. I can't lose my clients. There's a very interesting underlying deal where people are inhibited, afraid, I'm not sure what the word is, but they don't want to stand up and say what they think. They'll stop me in the street, pat me on the back, and, they, and go, go for it. But they won't lend their voice, they won't lend their name, because they're afraid. And whenever that happens, that's bad. And that's got to stop. And, and, and it's not, I, I don't need this, this is a big time suck for me, but I feel it's almost a civic duty to go out and, 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 and bring this site to people and bring what Steiner really said. I mean, this is the guy who said in writing, in describing the origins of the universe, that there were Atlanteans that lived on the planet of Atlantis and that they flew around in airships that were powered by organic germinating seeds. And this is the guy who created biodynamics. I mean, it's Looney Tunes. So, I'm sorry, don't, don't no, make no, me forget no. about this too, but, you know, it's, it's you know, the, the kind of the things that you've mentioned there, they sound absolutely silly and outlandish, right. coming from the father of biodynamics, Steiner, that you mentioned. Um, but looking at some of the farmers and, and some of the wineries that are using biodynamics, um, you know, names like Domain de la and uh, Nicholas Jolie, and even your neighbors. Lafave. Lafave, exactly. And then some of your neighbors. Quintessa like, and, 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 and Gergi Chills yeah. and Aravo. Aravo, absolutely. Yeah, we can go on and on. Is it of your belief that really their biodynamic farming is not enhancing the wines whatsoever? Yes. Okay. And let me back up and say what really my point is is that I'm the skeptic. Uh, they're making the claims that biodynamics is the better farming paradigm. And my answer is, if you're going to talk the talk, walk the walk. Put up or shut up. Show me why you think it's better. Don't just tell me. If you think your way of doing it is better, prove it. And there's no proof. Not only that, there is this, we are in an enormously green environment today. They're claiming that biodynamics is the Rolls Royce of organic farming. Well, organic farming has a lot to, to, to offer. And to claim that they are superior to organic farming is a big step. And they need to put up. Which is why I started the blog. Beautiful. Well, well said, Stu. We thank you so much for joining us today. We, uh, we appreciate talking with you. Sure. And, uh, I encourage everybody to check out his blog. It's, it's really interesting. Like you said, if nothing more, it's a great place to learn a little bit and, and, uh, and kind of voice your opinions on the subject. Uh, so thanks very much. My pleasure. Fun.